Hi Sagittarius, this is your April 11th through April 17th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Empress, we have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Tower, we have the Two of Pentacles clarified by the Lovers. In the uh, potential outcome we have uh, the Fool with the Ten of Cups and the World and we also have Temperance on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, perhaps another Sagittarius or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Well this reading Sagittarius put a huge smile on my face. <laughs> Um, somebody's gonna come in and they're, they're, they will have a plan. Their plan is gonna be to rush in and sweep you off your feet. And uh, their plan is gonna fail. You're gonna tell them, slow down, slow down, hold, hold your horses, hold your horses. Yes, uh, it's cute that you're attempting to sweep me off your feet, but uh, just slow down, slow your roll, let me think about it. And after you do think about it, after you weigh all pros and cons, um, potentially you, if you do give this person a chance, if you take a leap of faith with them, if you take a risk with them, it could play out, it could pay off in a big, big way for you. Alright, so I think we have you in the spread twice, Temperance on the bottom of the deck all the way here. That is definitely your card, Sagittarius, unless you're dealing with another Sagittarius. Right, and it's always a good sign to have your own card and your own reading, especially um, a major arcana card that uh, represents you and especially on the bottom of the deck. Right, this definitely means you're the one in charge, you're the one calling the shots, you're the one um, who's gonna, you know, say what happens next. <laughs> Right? The first card that came out, the Empress, I think that's also you. That's the way this person sees you. Right? They're putting you up on a pedestal. They see you as somebody who's, um, yeah, on the pedestal, a little bit above them, you know, figuratively speaking. And uh, they're going to make an attempt to sweep you off your feet. The Knight of Swords, clarified by the Tower, the next two cards right next to the Empress, is this person coming into your life. It could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, or this is just their energy. Like I said, it's them rushing into your life, uh, just trying to shock you, trying to surprise you, trying to sweep you off your feet. The Tower, clarifying the Knight of Swords, this is the element of a shock, this is the element of a surprise, right? Um, this is, I think, their plan. Um, the Knight of Swords, it could be somebody younger than you, by the way. They don't have to be, but they could be. And for you, it's going to be a kind of entertaining, Sagittarius. Because <laughs> you're still sitting back on your throne. You're the Empress. You're very relaxed. Uh, you know exactly what this person is doing. And it's putting a smile on your face. It's, like I said, it's kind of entertaining. You'll be like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Um, with the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the lovers, this is uh, you telling this person to wait, you know, while you figure things out, while you decide what you want to do here. So basically, you're taking control of the situation. With the Two of Pentacles, this is you weighing all pros and cons. The lovers, clarifying the Two of Pentacles, this is also a card of a choice, just like the Two of Pentacles. The lovers, uh, it could be a Gemini you're dealing with, this Knight of Swords could be a Gemini, but the lovers is um, one of the best cards you can potentially get when it comes to uh, a love connection between two different people. So just keep that in mind, right? This is also a soulmate card, this is also a twin flame connection card, and uh, the lovers could simply be the lover of your life. But together with the Two of Pentacles, you're still kind of trying to understand if this is what you want to do. In the potential outcome, we have the Fool with the Ten of Cups and the World, that is an amazing potential outcome, Sagittarius. The Fool is taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, just going for it, just doing it. And uh, the Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. It's actually one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally relationships or marriages. Um, and um, it's a family card. If having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have children together. And the last card in the potential outcome, the, the world is my happy end card. This is one chapter of your life coming to an end, and a new really happy chapter of your life is about to begin. So that's an amazing potential outcome, right? Two major two major kind of cards are in there, and the, the happily ever after card. 
Right, so yeah, Sagittarius, you have an interesting week coming up for you, a dynamic week. Um, this person really wants you. They really do. <laughs> and you can have your happily ever after with them, with the Ten of Cups, if you take a risk, if you take that plunge with them. And like I said, the Lovers is an amazing card to have. Alright, so think about it, consider it, and uh, let them know. And uh, I'm really happy for you, Sagittarius, congratulations. I'm not going to do an extended for you. It's um, completely up to you, 100% up to you. And uh, one of the commitment and marriage cards came out, so it's definitely up to you. <laughs> All right? Cool. Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have the Emperor. We have Temperance, clarified by the Two of Cups. And uh, we also have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries, or perhaps another Sagittarius. You know, it took me a second <laughs> to figure out what's going on here. Um, and then it kind of dawned on me, right? The Emperor in the middle... If you have an Aries in your life, a family member, a friend, a co-worker, then perhaps you guys are celebrating that Aries' birthday this week, because this is an Aries birthday season, right? And uh, the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to right? This is a card of a celebration, right? And uh, the King of Pentacles could be somebody else, you know, somebody from your family or another person you know. Um, and uh, the King of Pentacles is classified by the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of travel, so perhaps this person is coming in for the birthday celebration or it's a communication card. Um, yeah, so that's the first thing I thought of after I thought about it for a couple of minutes. <laughs> right, so perhaps it is an Aries birthday celebration with uh, the Three of Cups and uh, the Emperor. If it's not, then it is still some sort of a, some kind of an event, right? The Emperor could be like a father figure or a grandfather figure um, or it could be a waiting, right? The emperor, it could still be a father figure who gives uh, their daughter away, right? And the Three of Cups could be a, a waiting, uh, temperance. Your card is clarified by the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection. This is a card of two people coming together. You know, this is still some good times, you know, with a bunch of people. You can always leave me a comment, let me know what's actually going on here. But uh, this is something good, something positive. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Sagittarius, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Hangman, clarified by the Page of Cups and Judgment. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Four of Cups, and uh, we also have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or pretty much any zodiac sign. Whatever their zodiac sign is, uh, the answer is going to be no. Um, as a matter of fact, the only zodiac sign I can clearly see is the uh, is a, is a Virgo. The Hermit on the bottom of the deck is a Virgo card. Um, yeah, you'd rather stay single, or you'd rather stay without this person and uh, you're gonna let them know that you're gonna communicate it to, to them you're gonna be crystal clear about that actually <laughs> the ace of swords clarified by the four of cups right next to the deck this is you communicating it to them this is you being crystal clear the truth is they can go back to the past where they belong with that ace of swords you're cutting them out of your life for good you probably already did at some point in the past and uh, you're just going to reconfirm that statement and uh, the Four of Cups clarifying, the Ace of Swords, this is a card of a rejection, right? The Nine of Pentacles in the middle, I think that's you. You know, this is a single person card, but, um, you know, you'd rather be single than to be with this person. You don't have to be single, you know, perhaps you already have some other suitors in your life. Perhaps you already talked to other people, but you definitely don't want to have anything to do with this person. Um, yeah, the Page of Cups to the left. Uh, is um, an apology, them reaching out to you, judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past, but again, with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Cups, you're just not having it with them, all right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Sagittarius, this week we have the Five of Pentacles, uh, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is a very specific uh, spread, Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands, 
that would be you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Page of Pentacles, this is either money coming in or some sort of a payment or assistance coming in, or it could be a, a job offer. But the thing about the Page of Pentacles, it's not going to pay that much. So most likely it's like a temp position or a side gig, you know. Um, the Five of Pentacles, the first card that came out, yeah, we're going backwards. <laughs> the, the Five of Pentacles, um, this is either you're being unemployed, right? Or you're not having enough money, right? The Five of Pentacles, when it comes to work, business, and finances, is a card of somebody who doesn't have enough money. Perhaps somebody who, um, whom you did a job for, somebody you worked for, they didn't pay you and now they're starting to pay you or if somebody borrowed money from you they'll start paying you back right and whatever it is i think this is money coming in not a lot of money but it is money nevertheless and uh, the knight of wands is clarified by the nine of cups the nine of cups is a card of a wish come true and it's also a card of a uh, satisfaction and fulfillment and the sun on the bottom of the deck is the happiest card in the deck so you'll be definitely happy about this uh, development let's just call it that way whatever this development is all right cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen um, Sagittarius this week we have the devil clarified by justice we have uh, the ten of ones we have the eight of cups and we also have the sun on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo or uh, Libra this could be either directly or indirectly related to you since this is something you are not expecting right so uh, what's actually happening here is someone here it could be you or it could be somebody you know that individual realizes that uh, something or someone in their life is really really toxic and as a result of that realization uh, this person decides to walk away from it okay like I said it could be you or it could be uh, somebody you know right a friend or family members the devil the first card that came out it could be a Capricorn you're dealing with but if we want to stay general then the devil is um, an addiction or a toxic situation or a toxic person right and uh, the ten of ones in the middle this is a card of a burden or a card of a responsibility or an obligation right so perhaps you realize that someone in your life has been taking advantage of you they would always come to you and they know you'll never turn them down and they will always ask for another favor right or perhaps you were smoking you were gambling right uh, and uh, this week you realize what's actually going on you realize that it's time for you to let this go it's time for you to say no to this person or it's time for you to kick this um, addiction that you may have right and uh, with the justice card clarifying the devil card this is uh, you doing what's right for you this time the sun on the bottom of the deck is the happiest card in the deck and at the same time the sun is a card of clarity so you're going to be crystal clear about what's going on and with the eight of cups right next to the deck this is you finally walking away from this person or situation or what have you right so that's what you're not expecting but again it could be what, what's happening to you or it could be this could be happening to someone you know all right then that's what you're not expecting I hope that makes sense um, so yeah that's what I got for you Sagittarius for this week uh, hopefully it resonates if it does please like share and subscribe and uh, other than that Sagittarius have an amazing week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.